don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. What's good, Stella? Gang, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Kush Ben Flocking back in the booth. Yes, y'all, he's back in the booth. You feel me? Like a lot of y'all. Shit, whoever don't know, cause it's always gonna be a smart ass in the chat in the comment section, like, yo, you ain't putting us on to nothing. We been knew who he was. Alright, yeah, a lot of people definitely know who he is, but a lot of people definitely don't know who he is. Especially if you're not from Brooklyn. You feel me? It's a lot of people who don't know who he is. Anyway, um I remember yeah, I remember when I did a video like a few months back with the older dude that said he popped on Breezy Blicky and shit and he came on my live and shit. Well, that's they pops. That's his pops and shit. You feel what I'm saying? They I got caught in a little indictment shit. He was sitting up for a little bit. Now, his song right now, it ain't pulling that many views right now. You know what I mean? He just came out, so a lot of people ain't in tune yet. So, I mean, I'm going to put him back out there to everybody vision again so niggas can see him and shit and he get his numbers back up and all that you feel me because before they got locked up they was definitely doing their thing i was definitely rocking with some of their music and shit you feel me so we gonna get straight into the shit no more further ado and see what he gotta say man I see he dropping mad woos and shit in this shit already. But yo, look, look, let me let me give you like like a little bit of advice. You you can take it or you don't have to take it, you feel me? As for, like as far as the music shit go, you feel me? You come home, you you shouldn't just jump right back into the beef shit, you feel me? Because it's like you get a new slate, basically, you feel what I'm saying? Like you come home now. You could just take this shit to a whole different direction from what you was already on, you feel me? Come on and do some different shit. You ain't got to get right back into the dissing nigga shit. I ain't saying you got to come home and be friends with people. But you ain't got to get right back into dissing niggas and all that shit. You jump, jump in a different bag and just build your shit up differently, you feel me? You get a, a different fan base. And I, I noticed you ain't upload on, um, on none of these other big platforms and shit. So that was a small move. I don't know if... Yeah, that is y'all. Um, That is... Your own own channel, so that's what's up. You feel me, small move. See what I'm saying? Like, it's it's straight back to the dissing shit. Like, the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that shit, because you feel me? Look, you diss Pop Smoke already. Like, look, look, you dissing him already, right? But look, that shit right there can kind of blackball you because Pop Smoke got such a fan base. Now, a lot of people not going to want to fuck with your shit just because you said that shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to blackball you. And it's not nobody else in the game blackballing you. You blackballing yourself by saying certain shit. You feel what I'm saying? Certain people that don't even know you now, they don't like you because they like him better. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. That's really factual. I ain't going to sit here and you. That's crazy. You said that. That's crazy. I on paused it, and that was the part that came up. That's how you know it. That's how true it is. You with them boys, and I ain't even mad at you. I'm just to give you a habit to See a little out thought, living super rich, turn into an eater. See a baddie, she gon' act bad for me. See a spooky little teacher. Freaking flocking, we been flocking, hopping out of Pima. Free tribe, Mr. Blue Five, and me Pima. You don't step in, spent a couple bands on my sneakers. 
Biggest step she got to hula cuts, be the teacher. Said she fell in love, I don't need her. All I wanted was the chips. I ain't going, got a vote with a stick. Gotta keep me a flick. No, it's brand new, you know what I did. And I'm so super rich, a hundred bands up, first of a bit. Bro, what happened to the last boy? Yeah, him and his friends. Me and AK, we were back door, 30 shots of the fence. I was locked up, you ain't never did a thing for the kid. He said, ain't no woo, yo. You see what I'm saying, though? Like, let me show you what it look like. I'm just being real with niggas. A lot of people be in the comment section and be mad when you actually give niggas valid advice, right? Let me show you something. You see, he said, ain't no, ain't no woo, yo, right? All right. It's cool. We know you don't like niggas and shit. You got beef with niggas or whatever, right? But when you come home straight out of jail, and that's the first thing you go to mention on a track, that shows these niggas, the, that's what make the Wu niggas win a lot, too. And y'all don't notice that shit, right? All right. Damn, this nigga just came out and he already talked about Wu niggas? Shit. Them niggas must be meaning a lot to niggas out in New York. That's people from outside of New York saying, right? Damn, these niggas must be the Wu niggas. Shit, this nigga just came out here ditching the Wu. Know what I'm saying? And now, what you gotta understand is the Wu niggas, them niggas, yeah, they diss niggas sometimes. But them niggas is actually making songs. You feel me? They're not making diss tracks. They're making songs, and they might throw a line in. They might throw a line in here sometimes, or throw a line in there. But they making songs that's going to be able to be played on the radio and all that shit. Y'all making songs that people going to listen to on the block. You feel me? And you limit yourself when you make music like that. You making shit for only people on the block. Yes, you can, you can diss niggas. But don't make every single song a diss track. You feel me? And especially like... You now came home, that shouldn't have been your first song, because it's going to be like, all right, this nigga just came out, this nigga dissing, popping, she was locked up the whole time, it looked like he dick riding. That's what a lot of people is going to, they're definitely going to say that. They're definitely going to say that. Niggas got to understand, you feel me? A lot of people hate me for telling the facts and the truth, but if niggas would stop hating when I tell them the real shit and really apply it to life, Niggas is see the progress and see the change and shit, you feel what I'm saying? Because it's not like, yo, somebody that doesn't do no type of numbers, somebody that nobody knows is giving you advice. It's somebody who's actually been established. And you feel me, nigga? I get, the, I get the most hate right now, bro. Everybody fucking hates Upper, you feel me? They should make a show called Everybody Hates Upper. You feel what I'm saying? But I give niggas valid points as to why I say what I say. But too many people are too emotional to take the truth and say, yo, yo, facts, bro. It actually makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, as far as the song go, though, it's calm. I give it like a 7.8, 7.9. It's calm. For your first song back in the booth, it wasn't, it wasn't off, off beat and that, and you ain't lose touch of how to rap and shit. You seem like you might have matured a little bit. The way your aura, you feel me? The way you put your words together now, it seems like you might have matured a little bit and shit. But you feel me? Certain moves, you know what I mean? And take your shit to another level, though, my nigga. But anyway, y'all comment in the comment section below and let me know if y'all feel like I rated too high or rated too low. It's your boy, Upper Class. If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.